guys, it's me, Stay Hall, and I know that yesterday I talked about doing the whole natural journey and taking the sewing out. As you can see, I did not take the sewing out yet. However, I did do more research today on YouTube. I put a question on Facebook, like I'm serious about this thing. So today I did a lot of research and I went shopping. And oh my gosh, it's a lot, but I'm not giving up. I mean, it's a journey, so it starts with small steps. But as you can see over here, I'm serious about this thing. I ain't playing. So what I'm gonna try for my shampoo first is going to be this L'Oreal Extraordinary Nourishing Shampoo. It seems to be all the rage, so I'm gonna try it. I also have the L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil, uh, Oil Nourishing Conditioner. Uh, I have the ISO Plus Strengthening Leave-In Conditioner with coconut oil, which coconut oil, olive oil, all these oils that we cook with seem to be like the bomb.com for our hair. And I was actually given this free at a hair expo on Saturday. Who knew? Had no idea when she gave it to me that I was going to be needing this this soon. Because on Saturday, I didn't know I was going natural. I didn't even plan. So I got this and I'm going to be using this. I'm also going to be using this, what is this? Jamaican mango and lime, Jamaican black castor oil because evidently this does wonders for your tresses. Tresses, I'm gonna be using the word tresses a lot. Um, I got the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I got the Eco Style, which my cousin told me about and saw it all on YouTube. I got the one with the olive oil because I figured if I got the castor oil in here and some other oil in here, I mean, I might as well throw another oil in. I got this grapeseed oil. This grapeseed oil was in my pantry. We've been cooking with this, but I heard it was good for your edges. My sister, Margo, told me use it on my edges because I had kind of got a little thin right here, used it for like three days and my edges grew in. So I said, you know what, I'm going to put this on here too. I'm going to use this grapeseed oil. Um, also got the Shea Moisture Omega 369 Rescue and Repair Twist and Lock Gel. Because it's going to be good when I do my twist outs, my braid outs. My, I'm telling y'all I was researching, so I know all about these outs. So I'm going to be out. Um, I got my perm rods. Because this is when I do my twist outs and my braid outs. I'm going to put these on the end so it'll be smoothed out. So I got this thing. I'm not even playing. I got my little picks so I can get volume. Some more rods. I have my uh, duckbill clips. These are going to help me keep hair out of the way when I'm doing all these outs. So y'all thought I was playing. I'm really serious. This is about journeys. I got my wide tooth comb for detangling and I got this brush. Now I was told to get a Demon brush. Went to the beauty supply store. They were out of the actual Demon brush. But the little lady there guaranteed me that this knockoff, as she called it, is gonna be just as good as the Demon brush. And I thought to myself, self, I'm not even gonna know the difference. So why put it off and wait until they get the Demon brush or run all around to different stores looking for the Demon brush? If she says that this one is just as good, she's the professional, I'm not, never used it before. So I guess I'll be letting you guys know if it detangles my hair or does whatever it's supposed to do, but this is what I got. It's made by Annie. And so everyone loves Annie. Some will come off tomorrow. My tangles will come off tomorrow. I'm gonna use this. So, this is what I got. I have my artillery. I'm ready to go. I'm going to tackle this. What I can say is not gonna be tomorrow because I have an outing tomorrow. My cousin's coming in town, we're going out. Really, would any of y'all start your new hair journey the night before or the day that you had an outing? I might as well rock what I know for now but as you can see, I would not have gone out and spent all this money if I wasn't serious about what I'm doing. I'm like super excited. I really do want to take it down tonight, but it's just because I have stuff coming up. I'm emceeing an event on Saturday, which I will be letting you guys know about. And if you're in the Fort Worth area, please come out Saturday. Um, we're going to be by the Como uh, Recreation Center. We have a nonprofit group called Just Stop where we are promoting nonviolence in Fort Worth. I'm going to be emceeing the event. So just look me up on Facebook under Stay Hall. Look up Just Stop under 
um, Facebook, hashtag Just Stop. It's going to be a great event. But anywho, I'm emceeing that event on Saturday. Um, so again, don't want to kind of step out on this when I have stuff that I know I have to do. Because again, I told y'all, I don't know anything about hair. So there is a good chance, even with all these prod products, I can end up looking like little Michael Jackson with an afro. And I really, that's not going to be a good look for the next couple of days. But my goal and my promise to you guys is this is coming out Sunday. I'm going to be putting this stuff and I don't know, should I put all this stuff in my hair on Sunday? I don't even know. That's why I need you guys. Leave me comments below. Tell me which of these products you've used, which of them have worked for you, which of them have not worked, what you think I should do because I'm the type of person that once I take this down on Sunday and wash my hair, I'll be putting all this stuff in my hair because I don't know. But I have gotten a wealth of information today. I think I'll kind of sort of know what to do, but Sunday, right after I get home from church, I'm going to be tackling this. And so I am super excited, as you can tell, because I get this big grin on my face. But I really, I want to use all this stuff. I really do, because it seems great. And I know YouTube can kind of give you a false sense of hope, because those young ladies have probably been practicing these styles over and over and over again. But that's the good news about me. I am so raw and so open. Y'all are going to watch me blogs and all. So if my hair is looking a hot mess and I look like little Michael Jackson on Monday, Y'all won't see that on YouTube. I'm not going to hide anything. Like when I say a journey, I truly mean a journey. It's going to be trial and error, win or lose, succeed or fail. I'm going to take y'all with me. I've already opened myself up. What do I have to lose? So let me know what you think. Leave comments below. Subscribe to my page. Like the video. Share it with your friends. Look me up on other social media under Stay Hall. And don't forget, I still have like a super duper mega journey that I'm going to re be revealing to y'all on the 5th. Like this was just a little something, something that I added on the side just because. So I need y'all to stay tuned because big things are coming ahead. So you guys keep running for your life. Stick with me and I will see you again tomorrow because don't forget it's hashtag SSS beta vlogging every day in August and I'm all about that life. So I'm going to have some stuff to say to y'all every day. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.